I've been working most days, but I have tried to sneak a few nine holes out in the evening. I've not really done any practice, it's just more the playing that I've, that I've been doing. Got me back into like a scoring kind of mode almost, rather than uh, just being out of the game for a while. My dad's a member here, so I thought with crowds it would be a nightmare because he'd be talking to every single member. So as soon as I saw that crowds weren't allowed, I thought my dad will be like the perfect person really. A little bit nervous, definitely. Um, I think nerves are always a good thing. It, it obviously means something to me. Um, but once I got the first t-shirt out of the way and like hit that pretty good, I uh, just settled down and just got down to business. Pitched it in from about 55 yards, pretty stiff, and then it was uh, easy birdie, to be honest. I birdied second, the second hole as well. Like Again, hit a good driver pitched it into three feet and another birdie so it was um, it was a quick and easy start really to be honest. It was good because then it kind of takes the pressure off you, you don't need to, to panic and I know that this course is a course that you've got to be patient on. There's a lot of birdie opportunities but you feel bad when you're not making some of them but then you, you make others that are unexpected and it just balances itself out. Nice and relaxed, just a just another game of golf. Nothing's uh, nothing's going to change massively in the next few hours. Just uh, just got to be patient and go and play golf. Yeah, it's definitely softened up the last four or five days. So you got to fire the, the shots in a little bit more, but the um, the greens are running pure. Just uh, just a little bit softer than it has been. Didn't take advantage much of the. Um, the two par fives, five and six today. It um, well made a good par on the first one and then a poor par on the second one. Yeah, so on 10, I mean, it's an aggressive play hitting driver off there. Um, but I've always, always done it. I've always thought of it as like, just go for the green and if you knock it in the trap at the side of the green, it's it should be an easy par but it's a real birdie chance 10. Um, pulled the tee shot slightly left, um, found a horrendous lie. Certainly the, the discussions with my dad over that shot, I was like, well, the next shot after I've hit this could actually be harder than this one because it could just go like underground almost. So I um, just tried to play like the sensible shot and played away from the flag just through the gap that I had and played a great shot to be fair, just kept the wrist nice and firm and played a good shot. But um, recovery shots, well, I mean, a bit of rust on in my game still, but I've hit a few poor shots today, but then recovered with like quite a good short game shot to, to save par and the holding out was quite good from short range. So that certainly kept the, the score going and bogey free round. I think as soon as you have a bogey, it just spoils the round almost, so I just kept it, uh, trying, well, to keep it tidy. I tried to get a bit greedy on 16, um, trying to go for a back flag and just hit it slightly longer the, longer the flag and on that hole you just cannot go long. Um, but again, just kept on like on, certainly on 16, a, a great save from the back of the back of the um, well over the back of the green, bump and run up the bank and hold the putt just to keep that momentum going. But I've, like just through experience of playing this course a lot, like I know that certainly the wind today for us anyway um, it favoured the last two holes. So you're playing two par fours almost to finish. Well, certainly like the way I was hitting driver, it felt like that. So um, just tried to stay patient and I knew that I was three under in the round and I felt like if I got one more, certainly when I saw Mark Young at six under, I thought I, I need to try and beat that. So I tried to get to four or five under in the round, but just not, not sharp enough, I suppose. But um, a good finish with birdie birdie last two, just because again, just be, being patient, knowing that a score can be made in those last two holes.
felt like I could have been a lot better, even though I know I shot five under, but I know this course well. Like I've had, I've shot 10 under before around here. So I know it's like what you can do on it if you, if you get it going. It's a great experience to always play in these events. Um, I've played many of open qualifying now and I enjoy it every time. First two was good. Like, no, no nerves really, just uh, excited to get out there and play. Yeah. I hit a bit of a, a pull with a tee shot, but luckily I struck it really well, so it, it carried all the, all the trouble and uh, ended up on like one of the other tees. Pitched it in close and made a nice easy birdie to start. I actually did two under through two in a regional as well, so um, it was like a familiar feeling almost. And then made a solid, well, eventually an up and down solid power on three. Just let a tee shot get away from me on the fourth. Just hit it in the, the bad rough on the right. Tried to hack it out, turned the club face over. It was basically doing zigzag up the hole. And it seemed like every, every lie gradually got slightly worse. Um, and then made double bogey on the fourth, which was uh, a bit of a smack in the teeth after a nice start. And then bogeyed the par five next, hit a great tee shot, pulled my second shot left. Again, drew a bad lie in the rough, which is brutal. Hacked it up over the green, didn't make up and down, so it was uh, one over through five, and then birdied six, so kind of steadied the ship. When I stood on the tee, I saw all the green keepers were at the back of the ninth, and I thought, I need to get a good shot here, try and impress somebody. <laughs> um, so I hit nice seven eyed in there to probably about 12 feet and, and knock that in for birdie. Playing aggressive off the tee, got me going again, and then birdied 10. I'd healed some shots on the way around, and then that's why it was like gear effect, just making the ball go left to right. and. Um, my dad said, why don't you try standing a bit further away so you hit it out the middle. So I stood further away on 11 and uh, hit it right out of the toe. <laughs> Went nicely down the middle, funny moment of the, of the round. Oh yeah, I was only four feet away and unfortunately read it left edge, got over the putt, felt comfortable over it but just leaked it right and then 17 from where I hit my tee shot should have been an easy birdie. Um, I had 300 into the flag, but it's downwind and bouncy. Just hit my second shot slightly right, well, slightly right, <laughs> 30 yards right into the trouble, um, and then just ground out a par from there. It becomes the point where you've got to start playing really good golf, making a lot of birdies because to qualify over these two rounds it's it's a bit of a sprint and you have to you have to bring your a game with a bit of luck as well and unfortunately i just it, too many loose shots out there that just put me in some bad lies and then you can't access the green and it just compounding one error with another really because you, you're trying to go for risky shots out of out of the rough because you know you should be on the green in two but you're trying to hit seven iron out of deep rough and turn it over and before you know it you've got another shot out the deep rough and um, I mean it was it was fairly difficult um, in places but if you hit it straight the course was was easily scorable and unfortunately the, the the holes where I dropped shots just didn't get it in play enough. Well we could drive the eight maybe I really really hit one half it's only it's only 407 <laughs> <laughs> the motion set in of right okay well we've got to really push on here or it's not going to happen and certainly um, realistically after the first round I had to shoot something ridiculous like 10 under for the second round in what was harder conditions a bit more wind and uh, as you saw I, I bogeyed <laughs> 10 bogeyed 11 and then became near impossible. Finished strong, finished under par for the round, so um, proud of myself that I stuck in and dug in, but uh, you've just got to shoot the lights out and have a bit of luck in, in these conditions. I mean, the last competition he played was two years ago. 
I mean, it'd be fantastic if he could do it again, but uh, he's got different things now. He's coaching, he's got his PGA, and he's got a little boy now. He'd be disappointed in perhaps the way he's played, but not, you know, over disappointed that he's not qualified and got in. It's just getting rid of the rusty shots and the bad breaks where you're just compounding one, one error with another. Like, the guys that win will hit loose shots, but they'll go up there and they'll, they'll find the ball in a decent lie rather than a, a nasty lie. And that's the bit of luck that you need on these days to, because it's only one day, two rounds. You've got to, um, you've got to have the luck, but you've got to obviously have the game as well on the day. He's going to be super nervous. If he does qualify, it's the next four or five hours he's going to spend on his phone <laughs> because he's going to be sorting accommodation out, sorting a caddy out. Probably sponsors will be coming forward to, we want a sponsor here for this. And it's going to be a mad, it's going to be a mad few days for him, to be honest. Um, I remember when I did it, I was teaching the day after. I did like 10 hours teaching, so I actually just handed my phone over to one of my friends and he dealt with everything because I just didn't have the time to do it. Golf lessons are, are busier than ever now, especially with, with this and doing the Rick, Rick stuff, like it's gone, it's gone bananas, but uh, just re keep ri riding the crest of the wave with that. Obviously, winter will be here before we know it and golf lessons will quieten down. Um, but for competitive golf, I think that's it till this time next year. <laughs> 150 at St Andrews, sounds even better to be honest, so we'll have another go next year. <laughs>